Are you hungry? You're not alone. So you might be wondering, how many students face food insecurity? Forty percent of students face food insecurity. There is something you can do. Start the conversation on food insecurity. Starting the conversation will help people know that it is a real issue. Our goal, to inform URI students of resources available to students suffering from food insecurity and encourage students who can donate to use the school's health initiative. Our audience, our audience is URI students who can help spread messages through social media. Our plan, social media campaign. With a video similar to this one, using our target audience, URI students, this slogan, hey, are you hungry? So what are you going to learn today? Today you're gonna to learn about donating swipes, meal sharing program, what URI students know about food insecurity, and what you can do to help food insecurity on URI's campus. Now let's dive in. URI resources. Rody Outpost. Rody Outpost is a food pantry located on URI's campus. Um, all URI students are eligible to go to Rody Outpost. All you have to do is show your student ID. Um, what is available at Rody Outpost is non-perishable items. It is located at the top of campus. Um, we're going to be showing you in a minute where exactly Rody Outpost is located. The hours of Rody Outpost are Monday and Friday um, from 3 to 5 p.m. You can also donate to Rody Outpost, and these are all the items that they need. They have non-food items and food items that they always need, so if you're considering donating, this would be a great resource. Um, they also show you other resources around Rhode Island. There is the Johnny Cake Center at Peacedale and St. Peter's by the Sea. So, you might be wondering, where is Rody Outpost? Rody Outpost is located on 15 Lower College Road. From here you can see that we walk down the street from Pastor and you will see this building at the end of the street. It is the St. Episcopal Center and you can walk down the path and it is across the street if you're walking on the opposite side of the road and you will see a red door and that is Rody Outpost. Another URI resource is Sharing of Swipes Hope Campaign. So can you just please tell us how the Sharing Swipe Campaign works? Absolutely. So we take their guest pass, we swipe it into the system, it goes into the system, and then it goes into a pool of meals that someone could go and say that they need help and they would give it to them anonymously. None of us know exactly who it goes to, but it de definitely goes for help. So to donate a swipe, you're going to first type in URI meal sharing program and hit search. You're going to hit the first search result. Then you're going to scroll down and you'll see two things, donate a swipe and request a swipe. So to donate, you just hit donate and you type in your eCampus username and Sakai password. And this form comes up and you're just going to pick the date that you want to donate it. And then you're just going to put in your name, your student ID number, your phone number, and your email. And you're going to be prompted to answer two questions, um, one of them being 
um, that you are donating the swipe and the second one being what your housing status is. So you just hit yes and then whatever your housing status is and then you're just going to hit submit. So do you live on or off campus? I live off campus. On campus. Uh, on campus. On campus. What percentage of students do you think face food insecurity on college campuses? I would say like 30%. Probably like 70%. Like 30%? 87. Maybe like 30%. Maybe like 30%. I would have to guess about 43%. I have no idea. <laughs> did you know that URI has a food pantry? I did not know that. I did not. <laughs> I did. Yes. Yes. Did you know about the sharing of swipes? I have heard about that, yeah. I did know about that. I got an email. I did it. No, I did not. Yes, I recently just heard about it actually a few days ago at Butterfield. How do we measure the success of our campaign? In the beginning of this video, you took a survey. That was an awareness survey to see how much you knew about food insecurity. Now again, you're going to be taking another survey. And that's the same survey to see how much you learned from this video. Another way we are measuring our success is funding and donations data before and after our video. So we'll be collecting data on how much donations were made before our video and how many donations were made after. So to wrap everything up, today we learned about how you can donate your extra meal swipes, why it's important to spread awareness about food insecurity, and how to donate and use the Rodi Outpost. Thanks for watching!